Now we will hear from Bharti Sharma, who has served as Honorary Secretary of Shakti Shalini since 2010 and was earlier Associate Professor of Social Work at the Jamia Millia Islamia University in Delhi. Your time starts now, Bharti. Yes, Thank go you ahead. So much. Thank you, Amu. Thank you so much to Prajanya for inviting Shakti Shalini and uh, giving our version of understanding of Dawi. Uh, can I request uh, for the first clip? See, uh, I'm trying to show two small clips for us to see what has happened and how Shakti Shalini came into being in relation to dowry. So can, can we have the first clip, which is uh, of Satyarani Chatta, who was also an active member, who was the first person who started this organization along with Shah Jan Appa. So we have one, two small clips, one of Satyarani Chatta and one of Shah Jan Appa. Please carry on with the clip. Thank you. ये आपने लिया हम्म ये सब आप आपको बुलाया जाता है आंटी के साथ जाती मैं कौन सा प्रोफेशनल है मेरे को कहां कैमरा मैं तो ओके मैंने लॉ करना है मैंने कहा ये बहुत बढ़िया लड़का मिल गया कहती है तो लॉ तो फिर नहीं हो पाएगा और लड़के तो आ ही जाएंगे जो मेरे नसीब में करने के मरवानी थी मरवा दी मुझे तो यही है मैंने मरवाई है चाहे कोई कुछ भी कहता है लड़का मैंने देखा था उसने तो नहीं देखा वो तो कुछ नहीं जानते थे मैंने 21 साल केस लड़ा है कहने को थे 21 साल 21 साल 6 महीने बाद उसको सजा हुई तो ये सब कहने लगे 7 साल की सजा हुई तो ये सब मुझे कहने लगे चलो आंटी कुछ तो हुआ मगर दो महीने बाद हाई कोर्ट में बेल ले ली जब ये सब होता है और आप कोर्ट में जाते हो आपको गुस्सा नहीं आता है तो बहुत ज्यादा आता है गुस्सा आने के लिए मैं तो कहती हूं रो पड़ती थी और शाबाश है शक्ति चालनी की लड़ एक स्टाफ का मैं कहती थी क्यों मेरे पीछे पड़े हुए तुम्हें क्या तुम तो शक्ति चालनी में बैठ गए ना मेरी बेटी मरती ना ये शक्ति शालिनी बनती मेरी बेटी मारी गई है और नहीं मरनी चाहिए मगर मर तो नहीं है मर रही है देखिए तो हम फिर उनको लेटर डालेंगे कि आपकी बाइक हमारे पास आई हमने एक तक की बात सुनी आपसे भी सुनना चाहते हैं फिर हम दूसरा लेटर थोड़ा सा जोर का डाल देंगे कि आप आए नहीं हम आगे कार्रवाई करने जा रहे हैं फिर हम नोटिस दिलवाएंगे
Uh, I think we can stop here. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the clip, which is a very long one. It's about an hour long uh, clip. And so uh, it can be viewed by people on their own. Uh, Shah Jahan Appa's clip. There is one small clip of Shah Jahan Appa. I think by mistake this clip is being shown. So don't worry about it. Let's forget it for now. Uh, so this was the background under which uh, Shatirani Chadda, who was a homemaker, Shah Jahan Appa, she was also a homemaker. And two homemakers, when their daughters were burnt alive on, due to Dhabi death, they came out and they took up the kajas. And this is how Shakti Shalini came into existence in 1987. <clears throat> uh, this was the time of um, so, the feminist social movements and feminist movements. And this is where both these women, the founder of Shakti Shalini, who were instrumental also in the act, prohibition of um, protection of women from domestic violence act to come up, which came up in 2005. And there are certain provisions wherein both of them were responsible in coming ahead. Great advocate of feminism they were. Uh, let's begin from there. So that was in 1987. The daughters were burnt alive and the uh, little beautiful description that was given by Amu, which I will not like to repeat, but that was the background under which this organization came up. So then Dowry came up, Dowry Act came up in 1961. PGDV Act came up in 2005. Then let us understand what is dowry. The act describes when and understand dowry and understand the root cause of this particular phenomena that is take, that had taken place earlier, that was taking place, and that is taking place even now. So I would say that this particular cause is lies in our social structure. This social structure, our social structure, Indian social structure, which is deeply entrenched in gender inequality, power imbalance, and obsolete gender norms, that all that undermines the mental and physical health of survivors along with their dignity, their agency, their safety, and their autonomy. This is from where dowry we are trying to expect that this society, this social structure that is entrenched with all these things, will see that doubt is eradicated in this period of time? No. The law is a tool. And 
Akila has already told us how weak the law has been. Without talking much on this, which all of us know so very well, I would like to share experiences of Shakti Shalini in relation to doubt. See, Shakti Shalini works very broadly on gender and sexual violence issue. Now, we come across, we have our helpline and we come across so many survivors who complain and they reach us through our helplines, largely and otherwise uh, through various other resources also. Social media also is one of that source and by word of mouth is another source. <clears throat> so what has happened is that when a woman complains, we have so far not come across, I'm talking since 2010 onwards, we have not come across a woman telling us that I'm harassed on account of dowry. They talk about violence that is that they are suffering from. But dowry is never a reason why a woman comes up to us or the family of the woman reaches out to us. So it is very obvious that perhaps and I, I even cannot say for us because I do not see it happening. Is it that our society is not aware of the dowry yet? Is it that we do not want to talk about dowry? Is it that the thing happens if you go under the dowry act to the court? I think these are few of the many questions that we will have to dig out to see why people, at least our in relation to our experiences, do not come up with the complaint of doubt. Yes, violence of every kind. And when we dig into, we come across some who would say, yes, uh, the family asks for go and get these things from your parents, go and get that thing from your parents and all that. But there is no understanding of Dhafi or the hedge in Hindi. So nobody talks about that. So there is a big question mark in our mind as to we need to dig this up again after so many years of the act that has come into the picture. Second important thing that I would like to share here is that there have been so many women who would want to go in for litigation, but so far we have not come across ever since that I'm over here, a single survivor asking or a a, a case of a single survivor that has gone under the dowry act. So everything is being taken care of under the PGDD act and dowry act is never there. Then the question arises, is, is it necessary to have this act at all? What is the use of a legislation? When it is not used, does it not mean that something needs to be done to this legislation so that it becomes usable? Secondly, that our society knows there is evil of dowry still going on and they are the perpetrators and they are the victims both. If I can quote in Hindi, I appeal to excuse me if somebody may not understand it. How do people 
ask their daughter-in-laws. No son-in-laws is asked for dowry. Only daughter-in-laws ask for dowry. So you see the gender inequality and see how it is trenched in our own society. So they say, oh, उनके वहां से तो बहुत सामान लेके आई थी जब बहु आई तो ऐसा नहीं कहेंगे कि तुम कुछ नहीं लाई हो मगर वो तो बहुत लेके आई थी अच्छा आ, हमारे लड़के को सीए करना है मगर तुम्हारे माँ बाप को बोलो कि फीस दे क्योंकि आखिर में तो अल्टीमेटली इट इज यू हु वुड be happy because this is your family there are many such instances that i can quote how in very different manner people ask the daughter in law to get money from her parents after the marriage another thing that i would like to emphasize here is that which has been already talked about earlier the kind of marriage we don't want anything bas aap hamare rishtedaron ko gift de dena give gifts to our relatives this is the list of relatives and give them this 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 gifts no doubt then make everybody happy the kind of marriage you conduct it should be such that everybody goes very happy from there that happy quote and quote is that does not require to be detailed now if this is the understanding about the dowry in a society don't you think and should not all of us think as yes, to we have to take this up again this cudgels against dowry has to be taken up again and well the law can be modified the law can be amended anything can be done with the law but the basic requirement is that we work at the level of the society at the level of the community because this particular evil cuts across the whole society it doesn't see the economic class it doesn't see the religion it doesn't see the caste it doesn't see anything is there everywhere there will be very few communities in india who that are that can be in the interior of india where there may not be any dowry thing situation so i would suggest that with this prajanya's 16 days movement let us wake up to the evil that is that is so entrenched in our society and get together and work on this at two levels at the legal level the act that is implementable and second level would be at the level of the communities that's what we in shakti shalini we are doing thank you so much thank you thank you bharti